There are for you leftist freaks out there that you think Joe Biden is so much better than Donald Trump. As we find out that last night a temporary bill was passed to keep the government running because, you know, when the government shuts down, the whole world caves. Even though the government shut down every weekend, we do just fine. It's always that pact. The government's going to shut down. Good. They suck anyway. The more they stay open, though, the more harm they do. At least if they shut down, people may learn not to rely on them and rely on themselves. It'd be a good thing. But for you, you left the streaks out there. I think he's doing such a good job. And, um, you know, your own kind shoots yourself in the back when they get a chance. The two biggest items on the Democrat budget are, one, Ukraine and the money laundry scheme and the blackmail scheme by Zelensky on Biden. And two, migrants. Those are the most two important things. Not you, the American worker, especially you leftist Americans, which, you know, I don't think you should be considered Americans anyway. But hey, all right, we'll play along. You are Americans. They have put those two groups of people ahead of you. That's why you people, well, we need the help, needy. We need the help. Well, you know what? We've had needy people in this country for a long time, and right now the migrants, homeless people, are getting four or five hotels as the, our own Americans are still laying in the street, including a whole bunch of ex-military veterans. Is that your, is that your way of helping the country? Because uh, from what I heard, you people during Gulf War One was, you know, this war is so necessary, we, we don't need it, um... We're doing this for oil. Uh, forget the fact that Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. And uh, that that place was in darkness because of all the oil well fires he started. Let's forget that. Let's forget about going after Bin Laden. They knocked down a tower. Why are we going after Hussein? Which, you know, they never point back then. Why are we going after Hussein? But they always been anti-war until a Democrat got in office. Again. We got to stop comments. And we must get to... Before, I was like, we must negotiate. When there was a Republican office, we must negotiate. Huh? This is not the way. That's why I don't like you left the streaks at all. But they have put two groups of people ahead of you. And if you think... I know you left this. Don't care about it. Because we saw what happened in Martha's Vineyard when you had about... What, it was about two, three dozen migrants... You called in the military to get them out. All right? Need I remind you of that? You called in the military to get them out. Oh, they don't belong here. You welcomed them. I believe Massachusetts is a sanctuary state. But it was sanctuary until they actually came to your land and you're like, oh, well, we you know, we we met elsewhere. You know, typical leftists. Uh, we pass rules for every else to fall. But we don't want to fall. We don't want to pay. We don't want to deal with it. But here in my home state of New York, two nut job leftists, Mayor Adams of New York City, loved migrants until he became mayor, then he complained about them. Hochul and Cuomo made it a sanctuary state. Now she is telling people if you're going to leave your country, go to another state. Wow, sounds racist to me, don't you think? Sounds like they hate immigrants. But, there you go. More examples of how the Democrats hate America. And the Republicans are too weak to do anything about it. So, when you say government shutdown, I say, I'm all for it. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you later.